We have more people currently in jail on drug crimes than the nations of England, France, Germany, and Japan combined have in jail for all crimes. Does this sound like freedom, America? It just doesn't sound like freedom to me. Trey Raydell, a congressman in Florida, he led the charge to drug test welfare recipients in Florida. He got it passed. Some months later, Trey Raydell was found with an ounce of cocaine in his car. This is the hypocrisy of the war on drugs. Trey Raydell got a deferred judgment. He never got jail time. And within months, the charge was completely expunged from his record. And he again is a politician running for Congress. Meanwhile, less than 1% of the welfare recipients who've been tested for drugs come up positive. So what are our solutions for the war on drugs? Drug testing welfare recipients, it doesn't solve a thing. What we need to do is destigmatize drug use. We need to realize that drug use is not an inner city phenomenon. And we know this, and yet we don't apply it in our politics or our policies. Drug use and abuse is everywhere, all around us in American society. Putting people in prison is not going to help. It's not going to stop this epidemic. Drugs are used in every community. The addict is as likely to be your neighbor, your doctor, your sibling, your child, your friend. The war on drugs is a war on us all. Addiction is a disease, not a crime. It needs to be stopped or treated as a disease and not a crime. We need more beds and rehabs, not prisons. We need more money for mental health, not profits for the Corrections Corporation of America. And most importantly, we need to stop the war on drugs.